The White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce and SCC TV are proud to present Your Business Matters, dedicated to your business needs. The White Bear Area Chamber is a nonprofit business organization serving as advocates to the White Bear Area and its business community. Now, here's the Executive Director of the White Bear Area Chamber and the host of Your Business Matters, Tom Snell. Welcome to Your Business Matters, brought to you by the White Bear Area Chamber of Commerce. Each month, we interview community leaders and local business owners so you can be informed about the developments in our community. I am pleased to welcome Eva Droz, the COO and Vice President of Retail Operations for Nothing But Hemp. Eva and I will discuss the reasons for the burgeoning hemp industry and why it has such a wide acceptance from consumers. Welcome, Eva, to our program today. Yes, thank you for having me. Yep. The first question that I want to ask you is about uh, your business. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when it was formed and how many locations do you have uh, besides the one in White Bear Lake? Yes, absolutely. We actually opened our doors November 3rd, 2018, last year. Not that long ago then. Not very long ago. No. We actually started with a kiosk in the Maplewood Mall. And we decided to go with a kiosk because it was affordable. We are a startup. Yeah. Um, and from there, it's grown. Now we're actually up to six locations. Really? In, in two years? In one year. Or yeah. since, since uh, mm -hmm. yeah, since November of 2018, you're up to that mm -hmm. many locations. And when we started, actually, the farm bill was passed in December. So it was passed a month after we opened. So when we first opened, I guess we were technically illegal. We took a huge risk in opening our doors. Um, yeah. Our credit card processor shut us down a few days in. We had to turn into a cash-only business oh for gosh. a while. So it's been a crazy ride. I bet. Now, I mean, that's a lot of locations to set up in a, in a year's time. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any expansion plans? We do. Uh, we are that actually- you can mention, you know, yes. I'm not trying to <laughs> get into company secrets here. Exactly. Well, <laughs> we're done opening our corporate locations. I think we have our hands full with our six locations right I now. Bet. But we did open up an affiliate program. So now you could actually start your own Nothing But Hemp store. Oh, so it's like you, uh, so people now can uh, franchise? Is that what you're getting at? So similar to a franchise model, but we uh -huh. chose an affiliate model um, so they don't have to pay that royalty. So there's an initial fee, we onboard them, we train them, um, they get access to our companies. We do pre-vet all the brands that we carry because there's uh -huh. so many companies out there. So we make sure that they are organic, lab tested, um, and meet our standards for quality. Okay, and I want we're going to go into that a little bit, but mm -hmm. I just want to back up a little bit what, what you just mentioned about uh, people being able to take your model and grow it. Is that something kind of unique within the uh, hemp industry? It is, yes. So we currently have an affiliate in Orlando. Oh my in, goodness. One in Tampa and one in Cloquet. Wow. More coming up. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Now, the next question that I had, and we've gone into this a little bit, mm -hmm. is uh, when, you go, when you go around, you see a lot of retail locations that are selling certain uh, hemp products. Yes. I mean, they're, they're all around now. And mm -hmm. so uh, what makes your operation a little different than some of the others that will be selling uh, beauty products, maybe it's a hair salon, and oh, by the way, we have some hemp products out in the, the corner if you want to look at them. Yes. Why are you different? So what's different about us is CBD is what we do. That's what we specialize in. Uh huh. Um, we pre-vet the brands that we carry. We work directly with the farmers um, to cut out that middleman and keep it cost effective for the consumer as well. Um, and because we specialize in it, we're also educated. We really want to be uh -huh. that educational brand. We want to be able to put the right CBD product in your hands for the symptoms that you're dealing with. And I see that you have some products with you today. Yes. Uh, a lot of people don't know about the various hemp products. So why don't you explain mm -hmm. some, of the, uh, some of the products that you have with you? Oh, absolutely. Um, to start out, there are different types of CBD. So there is full spectrum, which full spectrum has 
all of your cannabinoids, all of your terpenes, and all of your flavonoids. There are trace amounts of THC in full spectrum and products. THC is what? So THC is a cannabinoid that has a psychoactive effect, oh, also okay. found in marijuana. Okay, gotcha. Um, nice thing with CBD is there's no psychoactive or high. Okay. The full spectrum products have to be under that 0.3% THC. Okay. So trace amounts, but it does enhance the absorption. Got we call okay. that the entourage effect. Sure. Uh, now you also have broad spectrum CBD. So broad spectrum CBD is just like full spectrum, but zero THC. So okay. great for people who might get drug tested for work. And then there's also what they call isolate CBD. And isolate CBD is CBD by itself, and they take out all of the other cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids, so also zero THC, um, which is another way to get it as well. Okay. Um, so, so the products you've got there, mm -hmm. you, uh, they are uh, what? So this one is actually a full spectrum product right here. Um, this is a 500 milligram tincture. So what that means, if you do a full dropper, it's about 17 milligrams CBD. Uh, we also carry- what, what does that do? Uh, what does it do for you? So this is an overall CBD product. This brand in particular, they use what they call a remedy strain, which is a high sativa strain. And sativa is just a more energizing strain of CBD, great for focus. For me, I'm very ADHD, so I love it. Um, thought I had chronic fatigue, so it's done wonders for my energy levels. Uh, so it helps you with uh, energize your energy. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so ex this strain, yes. Uh -huh. CBD in general, it does just help to relax the body, but there are also what they call indica strains, which we call in the couch. Um, not gonna put you to sleep, but it is gonna help relax you. A lot of people do like to do them at nighttime. We do get a lot of people in our stores who have issues with sleep. Mm -hmm. um, and CBD, you know, people use CBD for sleep as well. Okay. There's also this one right here. And called by the way, the sleeping one is it much more, uh, you know, like a lot of people are talking mm -hmm. now about opi opioids and mm -hmm. their addiction level. And uh, for example, the sleep uh, ones that you have, are they, uh, what mm -hmm. might be some of the differences between that and maybe an opioid that would help somebody sleep? Absolutely, and actually a lot of customers that come through our door, um, they want to avoid opioids or they're using opioids and they want to get off of them or they're having yep. some side effects with them. And how CBD works is CBD is non-habit forming, non-addictive. It doesn't necessarily knock you out, but it does relax you. Okay. And if you're more right. relaxed, you're able to fall asleep. It also starts to train your brain how to go directly into REM or deep sleep once you yeah. do fall okay. asleep. So a lot of people notice a more restful sleep and they don't get that groggy hangover effect in the morning that you can get with some sleep medications. Mm -hmm. um, other great thing about CBD is people use it for natural pain relief. And a lot of our customers uh, talk about not being able to sleep due to their pain. Mm -hmm. So if they can take something that's going to help naturally relieve sure. that, it also improves sleep. For myself, I've noticed it just helps um, just general mood. I'm less mm -hmm. reactionary. Um, so lots of benefits there. What's unique about this product is this is actually called Mini Grown. So this is actually a Minnesota brand. So the cool thing that's happened since we opened our doors mm -hmm. um, over a year ago is now that it's just become federally legal, we're able to grow here in Minnesota. So we are able to support some local farmers. Um, this is a 1,000 milligram bottle, so it's just a little bit stronger than this one. This okay. one's 500. So there are farmers in Minnesota that, that grow hemp? Yes. Okay. Just I this year. Know. Okay. the first official year. Okay. Um, some other great products that are unique to our stores that we actually just got on our shelves a couple days ago. Um, Plant Diva is actually one of our own, is our line. Um, so CBD is one of hundreds of cannabinoids. It's just the one that we hear about the most. Mm -hmm. But we actually came out with a product that's a CBG product. Mm -hmm. And CBG is a cannabinoid just like CBD, mm -hmm. but um, may be used to slow cancer cell growth, yep. um, a little bit more specific for pain. Uh, we also came out with a CBDA CBD blend, and what's unique about the CBDA blend, um, again, more unique to pain and inflammation, but also nausea. Um, a lot of cancer patients who experience nauseousness, sickness, women with our PMS symptoms as well. Um, the CBG is also uh, shown to improve uh, inflammation in the eyes caused by glaucoma. So there's different specific uses oh, with these okay. cannabinoids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know glaucoma is a, a 
the eye drops and everything can be extremely expensive for mm -hmm. people. So from what I understand. But, Absolutely. Um, that's great. That's yeah. wonderful. Um, uh, do you, uh, you know, one of the questions that, that would come up but, uh, between people all the time is hemp and recreational cannabis. Mm -hmm. And we went into a little bit of, the, uh, of why your products, you know, don't get people high. But yeah. can you explain a little bit more about what is the difference between hemp, which is legal in Minnesota, mm -hmm. and recreational cannabis? What are some of the, uh, what are the major differences? And, mm -hmm. you know, people get, people get uh, information and then sometimes they'll think that they're, they're similar. And why are they, why are mm -hmm. they different? So you have cannabis, and you have cannabis sourced from marijuana, and you have cannabis sourced from hemp. Okay. All of our CBD is sourced from hemp, um, so it has to maintain that below 0.3% THC, or they consider it marijuana, mm -hmm. um, which is also why a lot of people prefer full-spectrum products that have that trace of THC in there. It's kind of like taking calcium with magnesium. It absorbs a little bit better. If you can take CBD with all of the other cannabinoids combined, you get a better absorption. We call it the entourage effect. We even have some smokable forms. Um, we have something called hemp flower, which looks like marijuana, uh -huh. smells like marijuana, but it's not. So there's no head high, but you still get the body high, the body relaxation, and there's different strains, but great for people who need relief right away uh, for pain and as well for sleep. Oh, nice, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. So they are totally, they're really totally different totally uh, entities. Different. So mm -hmm. um, from a historical perspective, can you uh, tell me a little bit about maybe what hemp has been used for uh, yeah. before it became legal here in Minnesota and became accepted mm -hmm. uh, by consumers and, and lawmakers uh, throughout most of the country? Absolutely. When you look into the history of hemp, it's actually quite fascinating. So a lot of people remember reefer madness. Um, mm -hmm. And hemp, actually, they grew hemp in World War II, and they used it to make rope. Rope? So, mm -hmm. so hemp is used for much more than just CBD. Textiles, rope, clothing. Um, so you can make all sorts of things out of hemp, not just CBD. Uh, actually, when you look back in the history books, Henry Ford created a car made totally out of hemp. And when you look at the videos, it showed him trying to smash the windows. And they wouldn't smash. This car was like indestructible. And of course, the bigger companies got a hold of that and Reefer Madness started and they started yes. the propaganda and the stories and it was illegal for decades. Um, and then they started doing more research on CBD and hemp and realizing the benefits that it has without the psychoactive or high. And, and, and some of the benefits, I'd be interested in, in uh, talking to you a little bit about that. I know mm -hmm. that um, there was a story a couple years ago about a, a, a girl that had seizures. Yes. And um, she started using hemp products or, mm -hmm. and uh, her seizures uh, almost went away. And mm -hmm. um, are there, are there more direct health benefits like that that people can get out of using hemp? Is mm -hmm. there any evidence, you know, not just anecdotal stuff, but any real evidence that shows that hemp might be able to help people with certain uh, physical ailments? Yes, absolutely. Actually, one of the brands that we carry on our shelves is called Charlotte's Web. And if you ever have a chance to look up the Charlotte Fiji story, I highly recommend it. You might want a box of Kleenex because it's a very sad story. But there was this little girl named Charlotte Fiji and she was having seizures, hundreds of seizures a day. Yes. Um, the medical community was trying to help her unsuccessfully. And the Stanley brothers, seven brothers, they created this product called Charlotte's Wet when it was a specific strain for epilepsy. And as the girl started to use it, her seizures started to go down and they started to right. go down and she started to see improvement. And there is actually one drug out there approved um, with CBD in it, and it's actually for seizures. Um, but we also carry Charlotte's Web, which is over the counter, which is a strain used specifically for epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And the CBDA, we've also yeah. seen very good. So there is some more than anecdotal evidence that shows that this Absolutely. can actually work. So mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you see the, um, you see a lot of places again that are that are selling hemp products, mm -hmm. and do you think that the hemp industry has hit an apex 
or do you think that uh, it's going to continue to grow? And then the next part of the question mm -hmm. is if yeah. uh, recreational cannabis becomes a reality, mm -hmm. how do you think that will impact the uh, hemp industry overall? Yes. So Two the, point question. Yes. To answer the first question, I do think that we've just scratched the surface on the industry. With us being one year into it being federally legal, um, I think that it's going to continue to grow. There's more research being done on CBD and cannabis in general every day because of its new legalization. So I think we're just at the beginning, even though it seems like it's been popping up everywhere overnight, um, I think it is going to continue to grow. We've seen it help people. We hear the testimonials. Mm -hmm. um, we get that repeat. Uh, is our evidence, you know, that it is working for people, which is also why we emphasize on education and telling people, you know, about different types of cannabis out there, different strengths, different ways of taking it, different ways of mm -hmm. ingestion, and finding that right type for their body. So I do think it is going to grow. Um, as far as the recreational marijuana side, if that comes to town, we did actually open a store recently in Las Vegas, Nevada, in Henderson. Oh, okay. And we are a CBD store there. And yeah. as you know, in Nevada, recreational marijuana is legal. Right. And that market's already kind of saturated with dispensaries. So we didn't really know what to expect going into a market where recreational marijuana is already legal. And they're, they're, and they're totally different products, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, and in Minnesota, we've done great, but recreational you know, marijuana isn't legal here yet. And what we noticed in Las Vegas is people still come to us. What we found is a lot of our customers, they want relief and they don't want the high. They don't want the psychoactive. Mm -hmm. They just want relief. And then they don't uh, end up with some drug testing exactly. issue, I would imagine. Exactly. Yeah. And still totally different. So we've actually found, um, even being in a state where recreational marijuana is legal, people still seek us out and still come to our store and purchase from us. Because um, I've actually found a lot of people say that in states where rec is legal, um, they don't have as much access to great CBD products. Oh, or THC yeah, yes. has taken over the market. Um, so we've found that a lot of people still want hemp drive CBD, still want to use hemp, um, even with marijuana becoming mm -hmm. legal. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what I'd like to know too is uh, you went in and you, you somewhat explained this, but yeah. why are you so uh, excited and uh, about the hemp industry, and it's, this seems to be something that's just really energized uh, your, your viewpoint on, on, on business. And why is that? Why, why the hemp industry? Why not uh, something else? Well, for me, my <laughs> background is actually supplements. So I've been in the supplement industry for the past 15 years. Okay. And I've been following cannabis around along the way because cannabis wasn't around, you know, that uh -huh. long ago. And recently I've started to get more and more questions when I was still on the supplement side about CBD, cannabis, what it can do. Because so what we found is people who are looking for natural alternatives are looking for all sorts of natural mm -hmm. alternatives. And we just couldn't touch cannabis. We couldn't touch it. It was still a gray area. Um, there were still too many regulations with it. It wasn't what we specialized in. So the supplement stores, we just stayed away from it. Yep. But I saw that there was a need and people were researching it and seeking it out and needed to be educated and needed products available for them. And I'm all about helping people live a better life naturally, helping them find alternatives to harsh drugs that have side effects and can be addicting. And as I started researching cannabis and CBD, it just excited me because that's sure. the industry that I've been in. And actually my business partner in this, Stephen Brown, we actually worked together at a GNC, gosh, 15 years ago in Florida. And uh, we both ended up back in Minnesota. I'm actually from here, so I moved back. And mm -hmm. he came to Minnesota to start a different business. And we teamed up, and he was working uh, marketing on the THC side of things out west for a while. And he thought, how can we bring cannabis to Minnesota? And with my supplement and retail background, we teamed up, and we're both passionate about it and passionate about cannabis. And that's how we started these great, stores. Great. And why did you pick White Bear Lake uh, to be one of your... Uh, Premier locations. We love the downtown White Bear Lake community. Uh -huh. We actually had our eye on White Bear Lake since the very beginning. 
Um, but at that time, there wasn't any retail space available, so we ended up going to Maplewood. And then we opened Forest Lake in Uptown. Yep. Then we opened Grand Avenue, and we've had our eye on White Bear. We Excellent. love We Whoa. love the White Bear community. And when a space opened up, we said, let's do it. Great. Yeah. And if somebody wants to get a hold of uh, you and mm -hmm. uh, your business, first of all, what's the address uh, where you're mm -hmm. located? So in downtown White Bear Lake, it's actually 4762 Banning Avenue. Okay. Um, we do have a sign on the building now. When we first opened our doors, there was no sign. Yep. But we're right next to Good Kids yep. and Remax Results, um, right in the heart of, you know, downtown White That's Bear. That's right. So we also back up to Keys. Yep. And uh, website, phone number, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, yes. uh, what would that be? So our website is nothingbuthemp.net, so I encourage you to check that out. Um, it has all of our locations on there. Mm -hmm. um, phone number, um, you know, I don't have it memorized, but they can okay. look up the phone numbers and call. Each store has their own phone number. Gotcha, okay. Um, our staff is highly educated. They take an endocannabinoid certification course, which wow, is okay. the same course that doctors take. So usually mm. when you come in, first we're going to ask you questions. Like, have you tried CBD before? What mm -hmm. are you using it for? We have to find out which product we think would be best for you. And we all respond different. Um, it works off of our endocannabinoid system, so it's absorbed through the nervous yep. system. So it more depends on your tolerance. So usually when you first start out, people usually will start low. But if you're not getting desired effects with that, you can increase until you do. It's wonderful. Well, this has been a great uh, opportunity. And uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank Eva, you for having me. Thank you very much. You've been watching Your Business Matters. For more information on this program or the White Bear Area Chamber, visit whitebearchamber.com or call 651-429-8593.